Welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on the primary flight display. Let's have a look at some more advanced features uh, of the mode control panel now which relates to the primary flight display. Over here on the left we can see that the speed is set to 199 knots and up here on the indicated airspeed window it's also set to 199 knots. Now the maximum speed we can fly below 10,000 feet is 250 knots. That's to make it easy for the air traffic controllers to control the flow of traffic. Let's set the airplane to fly at say 280 knots. So go ahead and change the control here up on the mode control panel. Holding down shift and using the mouse wheel we can move in increments of 10 and we've set the bug for 280 we can see that this speed here is set for 280 down below the ground speed is indicating 257 and the indicated airspeed is roughly 247 knots now what we need to do is flick this switch here this is called auto throttle arm and that means that to maintain the speed the computer will automatically increase or reduce the thrust on the engines so the levers will physically move in the flight deck of the aircraft. Those will move to a target speed of 280 knots. Now there's two things we need to do here. First of all we need to arm the auto throttles. So I'll go ahead and flick this now. The auto throttle is armed. And notice in this window here it also says arm. This box is called the flight mode annunciator box or FMA so this is a really really important section of the primary flight dis uh, display to look at almost more important than the mode control panel because this will tell you exactly what the airplane is doing now at the moment it says arm we haven't commanded the speed of 280 knots yet we are about to to do that we press this speed button here now you'll notice that the diagram on the mode control panel goes from this button up to the top right and then straight up. So this is a link to the speed. So when we press this button, the aeroplane will advance the throttles and accelerate to a speed of 280 knots. Something else that's really important to note is that the arm will disappear. We'll get a green indicator here which will say MCP speed mode control panel speed. That means the aeroplane will fly at the speed set on the mode control panel. So let's go on ahead and uh, click speed. A box around the annunciator, that means it's become active and this will disappear in 10 seconds. Have a look here next to these uh, numbers increasing. There's a little green arrow and this arrow is a speed trend indicator. This tells us what our speed will be in 10 seconds time. So we're doing 260 knots. In 10 seconds time we'll be doing 270 knots. So you can see that the speed of the aeroplane is in fact increasing. Now because we've increased the speed of the aeroplane, uh, more air is rushing over the wings, generating more lift. So you can see that the aeroplane is actually starting to climb. The uh, artificial horizon is also in indicating a pitch up as well. Bottom left here below the speed tape, the ground speed has now been replaced with a max speed. A max speed is the speed of the aeroplane flying through the air with relation to the speed of sound. Now this is dependent on height and temperature. So what we're doing now is roughly Mach 0.405. Now before the aeroplane goes completely out of control because I know that the engines are pretty much flat out trying to hold 280 knots and they can't do it with a pitch up attitude here of 20 degrees. So I'm going to manually push the nose down of the aeroplane so we can look at some other sections. So you can see the aeroplane's climbed quite quickly up to 9,000 feet. On the airspeed indicator tape, you'll notice down the bottom here are red markers. This is indicating the uh, range at which the aeroplane will stall and we cannot fly into that zone otherwise we will fall out of the sky. Above that is a little yellow indicator which is the maneuvering speed. So we can fly anywhere in this band here uh, with the knowledge that we'll be flying within the limitations of the airframe. Once we get into this section here uh, that's the danger zone so let's not go anywhere near there. 
Now you'll notice that the button at the top right on the mode control panel called command is not activated so the autopilot is not activated even though the auto throttle is activated. So really important thing to remember is the auto throttle and this section here acts as one unit. It does not have to be activated over here on the right as part of the autopilot system. So we're still manually flying the aeroplane at this speed. The throttles are being controlled by the computer for 280 knots. Right, let's have a look at the altitude. I'm going to get the aeroplane climbing fairly quickly, which it's doing now. I'm going to press the command button. The command button is now enunciated just here on above the attitude indicator. Again a green box displays for 10 seconds and then extinguishes. And I'm going to press this button here called altitude hold. You'll notice on this side of the flight mode enunciators alt hold has become active. Now you're probably thinking I've set the altitude hold for 4000 feet. Why are we not flying at 4000 feet? On this autopilot system Altitude hold means hold at the current altitude that the button was pressed. So I'll turn the button off by pressing it again and we'll descend the aeroplane slowly and I'll show you that once more. Just getting the nose down of the plane. So at roughly 12,000 feet I'm going to press the altitude hold button just there. and the aeroplane will maintain a level of 12,000 feet. Really important to know what this button does because it does not control climb or descent for the altitude. How do we do that? If we take a look over here on the left we see the button level change. This is the button that will control descent or climb of the aircraft. If I press this button now Alt change appears. Now it's not exactly like the Boeing 737. On this system it's called altitude change. And the aeroplane will start to descend. You can see we're descending at roughly 1,500 foot per minute to 4,000 feet. Now while we're on descent we can change the altitude and let's just increase it say to 9,000 feet for example. Let's make it 10,000 feet. I want to show you some things over here on the altitude tape that happen when we approach 10,000 feet. The first thing that will happen, 900 feet from the target altitude, is that a box will appear around the 10,000 and a box will appear around the readout here. You'll notice that the box here is now solid white and the box here is also solid white. That means that we are approaching 10,000 feet. So let's go ahead and let the aeroplane get close to that uh, commanded altitude. Here's the speed bug set at 10,000 feet. And when we get uh, to roughly 200 feet of the speed bug, the altitude acquired enunciator appears and the aeroplane will level off at 10,000 feet. Altitude hold is enunciated again. Notice that above here, level change has been extinguished and alt hold has now become active. Let's say we want to climb up 100 feet. Okay, we set 100 feet, we press level change. Nothing happens. We need to be at least 300 feet either side of the bug for the aeroplane to climb. So if you're wondering why you can't climb in increments of 1 or 200 feet, uh, it's, it's because of the way the mode control panel is designed to operate. Let's have a look at something else here. I'm going to slew the aeroplane and increase the altitude. Now I have altitude hold enabled. Now you notice that the speed bug has been set for 10,000 feet. Uh, correction, that should be 10,300 feet and we're getting a warning indicator here and up here. 
that's telling us the aeroplane has deviated from the commanded altitude. So whenever you see something like this, that means the aeroplane is out of tolerance for that particular altitude. So I'll go ahead and take SLU off the aeroplane now and the altitude should come back to 10,300. And this will stop flashing when we get within about 200 feet of the assigned altitude. Okay, let's have a look at roll now on the aeroplane. We'll let the aeroplane settle down to 10,300 feet. Uh, at the moment, the engines are being controlled by the auto throttle up here on the top left. The altitude is being controlled up here on the mode control panel. The heading is set up here on the mode control panel of 53 degrees. And I'll just increase it to 60 degrees. This one's fairly simple. Here's the bug down here and I press the heading select button and the aeroplane turns to that heading. You can see in this middle box on the flight mode enunciators heading select has become active. Now all of these boxes are now filled in, these three boxes separated by these white lines. I'm going to tell you what these are, they're really important to understand. The first one tells me that the aeroplane is in MCP speed mode. That means this box relates to thrust of the aircraft. The second box, the middle box, indicates the roll mode of the aeroplane. The roll mode is based on the heading select. If we were intercepting a VOR or if we were intercepting a localizer, then this would enunciate the roll mode to track a localizer or a VOR. On the right here, we have the pitch mode. Now this is telling us that we are in altitude hold. Now if I deselect the altitude from 10,300 to 9,000 and I select level change, you'll notice it says alt change here. So this is the pitch mode. This is controlling the pitch of the aeroplane to descend. Let's have a look at the descent rate. We're descending now at roughly 1,700 feet per minute. I'm going to decrease the altitude down to say 4,000 feet. Here we can change the vertical speed. If I select vertical speed, it will lock in the current speed at which the aeroplane is descending. Or if it's climbing, it will lock in the current speed it is climbing. Have a look here on the vertical speed indicator. There are two magenta bars. That is the speed selected on the mode control panel. So if I now go ahead and alter the speed here, you can see that the magenta bug is increasing. So the aeroplane is now climbing at 1000 feet per minute. So it's not actually going to hit this target of 4000. So let's set a new target just for this uh, example. 8000 feet. And I could do two things to get the plane to fly to 8000 feet. I could hit level change, which will take the aeroplane down at a predetermined uh, descent rate or I can hit vertical speed and select my own descent rate. So let's go ahead and descent, select a descent rate of two and a half thousand feet per minute. So these boxes illuminate once again. Notice that VS is the pitch mode here up on the flight mode enunciator. So vertical speed is the pitch and when we get to 200 feet of the assigned altitude this will change to altitude acquired there it is, the aeroplane will pitch nose up and when we get to roughly 30 to 40 feet the flight mode enunciator will change to altitude hold. Notice vertical speed is still lit up here on the mode control panel. This will extinguish and out hold right on cue will select. So the aeroplane is now in a completely stable flight under control of the mode control panel.